Basarios was introduced in the very first Monster Hunter game. He is a flying wyvern with a rocky hide, who lives in volcanic regions as well as swamps. Basarios is the younger form of the flying wyvern Gravios, who was introduced in the same game. Gravios is significantly bigger, with a larger body, tail, and a differently shaped head. We will be discussing both in this video. Before we proceed any further, a special thank you to my patrons for making this video possible. Basario starts off disguised as an inconspicuous rock in the ground. Usually, he's not too hard to find, but he does blend in with other rocks in the area. He's one of the few monsters that won't immediately try and fight you upon entering the area. When engaging in combat, Basarios can perform several physical attacks, including charging, fighting, or performing a hip check. He can also swing his tail around or side to side. He can release poisonous gas as an area of effect attack, as well as fire a laser. On many occasions though, the laser will fail, and Basarios will shoot nothing. In G rank, he gets stronger poison, but that's about it. Occasionally, he can also expel sleep gas from his body, as well as shoot a fireball. Gravios does not hide on the ground. He generally has the same attacks, but his added size makes them trickier to avoid. Gravios can briefly fly into the air and land, knocking away anyone close by. He can also fire lasers, and unlike Basarios, he is much more consistent with them. Gravios will expel sleep gas rather than poison, but in G rank, he can expel fiery gas as well, either while standing still or right after a laser attack. He can also sweep his laser, but both it and the gas attacks are fairly uncommon. This is most likely because they're favoured by his subspecies, the Black Gravios. This one is, well, black, and tends to be physically tougher with a more resistant body. This Gravios favours heat attacks, preferring to fire lasers and expel gas, but otherwise has few differences to the standard version. All three returned for Monster Hunter 4. Basarios in this game are encountered exclusively in the Everwood, and to reflect this, he can often be found covered in moss. His moveset has been smoothed out a bit, and some new additions include the ability to roll attack. He has a subspecies in this game, the Ruby Basarios, which is simply a Basarios coated in rubies. The main differences are that some attacks will drop rubies which can be mined on the floor, including his hip check and rolls, as well as the ability to expel gas in short bursts. In G rank, Basarios can fire three fireballs. He will walk backwards while swinging his tail, and in addition to this, he will sometimes roll from a charge, covering a wider area. Ruby Basarios gains the ability to roll twice in a row. Gravios in high rank also has the ability to roll, and he tends to use his gas and laser attacks more than he did in the older games, although still quite balanced with his physical attacks. Black Gravios also returns, once again with a higher focus on gas and laser attacks. In this game, he has a new laser attack that he aims down and up, in an attempt to catch players close to him while aiming at people far away. In G rank, Gravios gets the ability to walk while shooting small fire bursts, aiming at random players. Black Gravios can also do it, only he expels gas with each fire blast. He also gets a new laser he can use while turning around. A cool addition with 4 Ultimate Gravios is that he can break his back. This means that when he performs a gas attack after a laser, the gas is expelled from his back rather than his belly, allowing you more attack opportunities, although this won't stop the standard gas attacks. Gravios can overcome the Frenzy Virus to become Apex Gravios. The easiest way to describe him would be a Black Gravios with attacks that can inflict the Frenzy. He fights identically to Black Gravios in the Apex state, and fights like himself when you knock him out. Both Basarios and Gravios return to Generations Ultimate, specifically the expansion. Here they're unchanged from 4 Ultimate, and are more or less direct copies. Ruby Basarios is not in this game, nor is Black Gravios. Basarios and only Basarios returned for Monster Hunter Rise. Having only one of them is a series first, as they've never been separated before. When you encounter him, he won't always be disguised as a rock either. Basarios gets a sizable rework in this game. When he performs a gas or laser based attack, his body and head respectively will heat up and soften, allowing you to deal more damage and not bounce. In terms of moveset, he can tunnel underground and try and ambush you from below. In the expansion, Basarios gets the ability to turn during his rolls, making them harder to dodge. Basarios is okay. I've never been too fond of him, mostly because he has a real tendency to cause weapons to bounce. 
I think the change Rise gave him was good, although perhaps it trivialised him a bit. I actually really like Gravios though. He's basically a huge tank, a giant rock dragon that has impeccable defence, powerful physical attacks, and some really tough ranged ones, and fighting him can be a pain unless you know the strategy. At the start of the fight, you keep bouncing off his legs, getting hit by his tail, the laser and the gas attacks, and it's very frustrating, especially because he's not taking much damage. But if you break his legs, you stop bouncing off them. If you sever his tail, you stop getting hit by those attacks. If you break his back, you can start exploiting his lasers. Breaking his belly will also make it significantly weaker. Gravios may be a giant tank, but you can slowly break down his shell to turn him into a massive joke, and I love him for it. This mainly applies to the 4th generation Gravios though. Black Gravios is everything I love about 4 Ultimate's approach to subspecies. He's the same monster, but uses a different strategy and vastly excels at it, making it much trickier than the standard Gravios. I'm a bit disappointed they didn't return to Moss Tonto Rise or Sunbreak, since he's a lot of fun but very challenging. I think he really would have been able to take down people with some of his 4 Ultimate G-Rank moves, especially if he gave him some of Black Gravios' heat blasts. While I appreciated the new heat up changes to Pesarios, I don't want Gravios to have them. Breaking him down should be harder, so it feels more rewarding. I also don't think he needs it. Pesarios is quite small, so that means if you're aiming for his belly, you end up hitting his leg. But Gravios is so big that he doesn't have that issue. Gravios' absence is made even weirder by the fact Pesarios will still sometimes fail to perform his laser attack. The whole point of this quirk was to indicate to the player that Pesarios was simply a child and there's a stronger, tougher version that can get it right. But without Gravios in the game, it's now just a weird, silly thing Basarios does. Ruby Basarios is an interesting subspecies, but I often forget he exists. Which do you prefer, Basarios or Gravios? I feel like a lot of people will disagree with my opinions on Gravios and his subspecies, so I'm curious to hear your thoughts on him. Once again, a special thank you to my patrons who make this video possible. Donating will grant you early access to videos, and allow you to be credited at the end, so you can be memorialised as a contributor to my work. Furthermore, you also get to support me, which helps a lot when making these, among other videos. If you enjoy them, donating is a great way to ensure you see more in the future. Remember to like and subscribe, and have a good day.